this one. <laughs> What's up guys? I made it to a section of Mulholland here with my buddy Charisma Rider. We're currently just getting ready to set up the drone and just get some footage for you guys. Let me go ahead and uh, cue some drone shots for you guys here and then I think we're going to do some, some cool photo shoots in a different location. Yeah, I got gloves. Matching colors today. Right, yeah, we're matching. <laughs> it's like a spoiler. Yeah, that's so cool. The gear that I'm currently wearing, it's very minimal. I'm just wearing a leather jacket. That's next to get is a suit. I, that's why mainly why I had a Charisma Rider come out here rather than me having to go super far just because I don't have the right gear yet. I gotta be careful with where I go. Um, I'm gonna hand the camera over here to Charisma Rider and he's gonna film me while I do uh, a little bit of a sound check for you guys. I'll go ahead and flip this around so you can see. <laughs> So this is like titanium full system, right? Yes. I'm gonna fold here. That's a funny gallery before. <laughs> Definitely fun to ride. Something that I noticed that's pretty cool, I don't know if all bikes do, do this, but okay. um, when I put the kickstand down, it automatically turns off the bike. Does yours do that too? Oh yes. It does? Yes. I think it's a safety feature. That's understandable. That yeah. yeah. That's something I actually haven't seen before when I was at the Snakes. Oh really? Yeah, I've never oh, seen somebody maybe, do that. Well, maybe, maybe I just didn't pay attention to it. Should we get you? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, I'll take over. <laughs> so a little bit rough, right? Yeah. I don't know, I have to try yours. <laughs> <laughs> so no wheelies? No wheelies. <laughs> Wait, so how do you turn it on? Just right here? Yeah, it's they have it because these are aftermarket bars. Oh I see. It's something see. wrong. I don't know. This needs to be remounted somewhere. It's super loose, which is definitely not safe, but Okay, I see. actually sounds super good I haven't heard it yet other than obviously sitting on it and turning it on but hearing it ride by that definitely sounds pretty sweet also I can't wait I ordered a new AGV visor that should be actually coming in the mail today I have to actually pick it up from cycle gear so maybe we can pick that up later today it's the uh, iranium silver version I think it'll contrast with this helmet quite nicely let's go ahead and see what a uh, charisma rider thinks of the uh, Yamaha XSR 700 here
Yo, the sound, this one. <laughs> <laughs> I like this sound is more <laughs> because it. I don't. I don't know. It's just like when it scream, it has the shake. It has the, you know, like you know when you have that sound that you know uh, vibrate your heart. Right, right. This is the one. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I love my bike because of the. It, it's more torque and everything. Uh -huh. But this sounds just so good. <laughs> I like it. I think that the exhaust is like, it's really, really good. <laughs> All right, well, what do you say we uh, wrap up our gear real quick and then we head over to a different spot? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, so we just finished the little photo shoot. We're at the Paramount Ranch off of Mulholland. We've got this beautiful backdrop here, the Yamaha XSR 700 and the FC09. Pretty cool. say charisma rider that we go check out Mulholland and uh, see yeah. if the snake is check open. The snake, yeah. yeah, check the snake. I hope they open. Yeah, <laughs> let's hope so. They've been having some rock slides, so I'm not sure what the conditions are at the moment, but let's go for a little ride and uh, check that place out, see if it's open. And if not, we'll probably end up somewhere else and you'll see that in just a moment. just pulled up to one of my favorite little spots within, I guess this is still considered Malibu, but um, it's called God Seat as far as I know. This is not a name that I came up with, but we're going to check it out. I brought a Charisma Rider here because he wanted to get a good view of the area, so I figured this would be a good spot. It's a bit of a bumpy road to get up here, but it's definitely worth it once you get to the top of this little hill here. Whew, hiking in a leather jacket, not recommended. Is that somebody's jacket? Dude! This is awesome. It's like a Grand Canyon, but it's not Grand Canyon. I'm on top of the world, eh? I've never understood why so many people have to litter. Glass. Yeah, it glass is like just the worst glass. thing. It's like you shouldn't be drinking and driving in general. It's ridiculous. But there's a really nice valley that drops through here. And I want to see if, my, uh, if I can get a good shot of the drone or with the drone flying through here. Yeah, I'm doing this manually. So something that you'll see too, every now and then with the Mavic and some other drones, if you're flying directly into the sun, for some reason it thinks that there's something in front of it and that's actually the sun and it's just what's happening is the sun is just blasting the front sensors. So if you're in a situation where you panic and you're not sure why your drone won't come back, try flying it backwards because the sensors are going to be different on the back. So that's currently my situation so I'm going to try fly the drone backwards and now it's not going to have any issues when you bring it back. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you, Alex, for watching and subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you. For anybody else that wants to see more content, make sure you head to my Instagram, at Nick Vanderbilt, and obviously go check out Charisma Rider on YouTube and on Instagram as well. We're going to be posting some more content, some photos that we shot from today onto Instagram. So other than that, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.